Uh, Social Club time. We ask you for your questions each and every week, and then we put them to the panel. It's as simple as that. Go to at Ball Street on Twitter to get your questions in for next week. It's too late to do it now. Let's get going. Uh, first question of the week, directed, I think, primarily at Robbie. We'll see how we get on. Uh, Paul Whelan at P underscore Whelan 7688. Are you that... Of my t- no, not really. Um, <laughs> does Robbie genuinely believe Arsenal can win the league still? I think he means this season. No. No? No. So it's, uh, Leicester are going to win it. Um, they're too far ahead. Uh, and they're, the, the way in which they're just you know, grinding these games out. I mean, yesterday's game, prime example for me, Southampton... Much better team should have won that game. Really, couple of decisions as well that on another day could have went against um, yeah. uh, Leicester. They got. Um, I, I think they're going to win it, and they, they, I think y- you have to look on it and say, you know what? It's credit to them. Those games, even though I look in it and say to myself, I look at them and I think they're not that great a team, but they're getting the results, and this is a results business. And I think that. You know, I think that they will win the, the league. My, my, I've got a theory on Arsenal this season, and I, I always use this. I fear for Arsenal, again, as always. I don't fear for <laughs> Arsenal. I don't care for Arsenal, if I'm perfectly honest. But I, my fear is that you this season, Will, because I've seen you starting to do it already. A lot of your fans on social media saying things like, oh, I think we'll, we can catch Spurs or we'll finish above Spurs. I think what Arsenal might be lulled into doing, and I'll get, I'll get Baz's opinion on this as well, is I think they, they might go... Ah, oh, we finish above Spurs, hard in your face, Spurs. No. And then all of a sudden, you, that that becomes like a su- the success of the season. No, somehow. listen, listen, I, I, can, I can put you straight on that one right now, right? We do want to finish above Spurs. Absolutely. Right? And that is something that every Arsenal fan still thinks, we, because if you if you actually look at it, right, if we win our game in hand, we're one point behind Spurs. Yeah. yeah. And we do want to finish behind We do want to finish in front of Spurs because he's Spurs. But that in no way will you know, cover up the cracks this season. I mean, fans will still be asking a lot of questions at the end of the season. Why didn't we win the league? Yeah. You know, we, we the, the league was there for us to win and we should have won it this year. It's as simple as that. And finishing above Spurs will not cover up the cracks. But we have to do it. We yeah. have to finish above the them. bare minimum requirements. Go back minimum. What thoughts? I like the way I direct this remark. <laughs> this would be with Everton Liverpool by any chance. No, no. Uh, no, listen, Arsenal, I, I thought Arsenal would win it. I said it all season. I said yeah, it even about six weeks ago. I still thought they'd catch Leicester. Leicester have just been unbelievable. They've been mm. relentless. And I take, as you said, they weren't a fantastic team. That's exactly what they are. They're a fantastic team. They haven't got mm. yeah. fantastic. They've got Kante and Mares and Vardy, who always get the credit, but the likes of Morgan and Huth, mm. people yeah. like that have been brilliant for them this season. Drink water, those kind of players. Yeah, I, was, I suppose I have to take that back. As yeah. a team. As a team. The, as an actual team, they are the best team like in the far, Premier League. Yeah. But it's just but, that sometimes I look at them playing, I'm like... Oh you don't, you're not spending £15 million buying Robert Huth to solve your defensive problems next season. Like no, but, no. But, where's Ran, Mo- or maybe but even where's Morgan, you know. I mean? Ranieri yeah. has been brilliant, yeah. but in terms of finishing above... Hmm. You, know, you always want to finish above your rivals, don't you? Yeah. But it can never really, unless you finish in first, it can never really be seen as it. That's not your success. You want to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think you, Arsenal you, should be. You know. It should be successful this season if they finish above Spurs. It would be for you anyway, because if they well, finish second, if they finish second, yeah, that's a successful well, season. Well, because they should have went and spent fifty million in in January on a striker. That's what, I think it's all all boils down to Wenger. You had the chance in January and realised here. Everyone else is awful around us who should be considered top four. Let's go and buy big. Let's go and buy someone who's going to score me 30 goals. Who could they have got though? I think it doesn't matter who they could have got. They still could have got a striker. It doesn't matter who they could have got. He still should have went and bought and strengthened his squad. He should have known. To be fair, I think the summer was the time to do it. Yeah, I was going to say that. It it weren't January, it was the summer. But in January, we were the the, the only club that didn't buy an outfield player in Europe in the summer. And when you're buying these players, I, I think this January thing so you, had, you, so had two is so in? difficult yeah. to buy world-class well, players. You're not wrong, players. but the point is, it actually, to, to look at January and go, Jan, it's January. Yes, but in so January, did anyone, the, buy, summer, summer. But did anyone but buy a striker for 14 million in January? Just to show you the hazards of January. <laughs> 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 Great, what okay. I'm trying to say is that it should still... I mean, I think he'll have saved this season. Maybe I should put it like that. Saved this season as he finishes above Tottenham and finishes second, as opposed to it'll be a success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. I think that's it. I think that you've, you've the bar, but it's not yeah, saved. Yeah, it's finishing not. above Tottenham. 
I think oh, you yeah. said that as I an do Arsenal think fan. Be, I thought fans who were like, ah, uh, like celebrating. No, no, no. Hey, I, 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 no, no, no like, we beat you. We no, beat you no. above you. Ha, ha. Listen, listen. Hang it, on a second. Have a look at your club. No, listen. It's, it's just going to be a pride thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if we can finish above Tottenham, just to basically say to them, you know what? Even though we were rubbish this season, <laughs> okay. they still we still finished above you. Yeah. But that is not going to paper over the cracks. Okay, yeah. speaking of papering over the cracks, um, James Hardwick at, at Jamer, <coughs> James lad, uh, says, why aren't the media putting more pressure on Roberto Martinez? Because <laughs> he's a lovely fella. He has a nice cappuccino with them. Fins farm, great. And uh, for all for those reasons. Because he is a lovely fella. And we've interviewed him and he's great and he's got loads of time for you. But... Uh, why aren't you putting more pressure on him? I put lots of pressure on him. I likened his, uh, Ever in the aftermath thing I'd done yesterday, he's built Everton into like, you know, one of those great desserts that you see and you look at it and you think, I'm having that, it's going to be amazing, it looks boss, and then you eat it and it's actually shit. Oh, That's like, whatever. It's like, a, like where you see like the McDonald's photographs of food. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, the big, the big. Tasty, get in, that looks at me. Uh, oh. And it's that big. Oh, it's that big. Everton are yeah. typical, it's not what it says on the brochure. <laughs> That's what I've um, uh, The media should be all over it. They've had, they've won four home games in 12 months. Is it? Do you think it comes from the fact it, it's a disrespect to Everton in some respects? Because people are looking at it going, well, look, there's still there's, there's a couple of wins, they'll be there or thereabouts. And do you think people think that Everton are better than they are? I guess is it because well, Lukaku's scoring goals, people remember them playing some, in some good games this season. Years are still in, in, in line to win an FA Cup. There's probably people thinking, oh, that's, that's, that's fine for I Everton. think the problem for... I think the problem. I'm not sticking it in, by the way. No, there. no. Internally, for for certainly for the likes of me, I've seen Everton at the best and obviously at the very worst, and everything in between. And I think for me, my bar is high. And I think the FA Cup, while it'll be lovely and I'll celebrate and I'm looking forward to going to Wembley, it, it it won't paper over the fact that we're going backwards and we've got a better team probably than David Moyes ever had. And I'm not advocating bringing David Moyes back, but. If you FA look Cup's at, a trophy if, down there. I've just said that. I, it's, <laughs> that is, but you've got to look. You've got it's listen. success. You know what I mean? Your, Wig, your parade through Liverpool. It'd be yeah, great. But yeah, but, yeah, but come Robbie, on, but look at that team. We're going to have to. Yeah, but it can be. It can be FA something. Cup. The FA Cup can kick you on to start. There's nothing wrong with that. Give, Everton, there's nothing wrong with that Everton squad. That Everton squad should be. We're, we're, no, but what I'm trying to say. Twelve. Twelve. What I'd like to say, right? FA Cup can give you winning that. Can give you belief to then kick on next season. You know, if but if you, you go back to the question, the whole point why the media hasn't got on to him is because of the FA Cup. He's still in it. It is. Yeah. If he weren't in the FA Cup, I think he would think he'd even second. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think you're I, right. There. Yeah. I don't know because it, he's, it's this is two years now. This isn't one season. This is two years. He come in, Everton finished fifth. We still had Moyes' defensive side of the game, and he fused it with his attacking philosophy, and it worked. at treat. Although that year, if you actually look at it, Everton were fourth the middle of April and yeah. were favourites to finish fourth and he didn't. Yeah. And for two years well, now... Well, you were talking about the title Well, exactly. They've gone this way. So, you look at that Everton side. I don't think... it. Uh, he, he, Martinez talks about it like one day it's just going to click and all of a sudden it's every game's 5 nil with 9 million passes. And it ain't going to happen. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. No, I think we've discussed this about fan. how like I think Rodgers and Martinez have yeah. cut from the same cloth. The Swansea and drinking that, water. Exactly. And I think that, I think that, that type of football... It's had its day. Yeah. You know, I don't, I'm not saying passing football's dead, but I'm saying you've got to be the best in the world. To you know what'll be really interesting? Work. Guardiola next year, Man City, because he's learnt a little bit of buying. He's yeah. had to go direct. It hasn't. It isn't all the same Arsenal. Yeah, sorry, it isn't the same Barcelona model. And this isn't a dig at Arsenal because these are the best at it in the Premier League. But they're not but like ultimately. Barcelona. They're nowhere near. No, but Barcelona ultimately they haven't won the Premier League, have they? No. Playing that because you have to have the mix. Leicester are probably play. They come down to goodness and they had 20 set, 20, 26, 26 <laughs> percent possession and beat us. 20 sets yeah. is great. Well, <laughs> yeah, we'd all like 20 sets. Yeah, but you know what? You, you know what? I, I don't think um, that that will work next year. But I, I do think that, listen, we, we, teams that win it, it boils down to who the best team is. This is a bit of a freakish year. But I don't think you're going to be able to have 26% of possession and win the no, league next year. Football, you'd have, have, have fans and yeah. stuff, don't you? Yeah. I think what will probably happen is a lot of teams will try that next season. And I, 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 I remember the time we went to Alton Towers with the school and we and we, and we took, a, took a crutch with us and one of our friends pretended to be 
I'd say injured to get on the uh, rides a bit quicker. Did it work? Great, we got on every ride. It was amazing. We went on the Nemesis like 50 times. The next year, like 10 kids from our school tried it and they got onto it and no one had the same fun because everyone tried the same thing. And, I, you know, do you see exactly? It's exactly the same thing. I think you can all agree. <laughs> I, uh, I actually <laughs> think Everton would be, be better playing with one crutch as well. Yeah, exactly. That's just a weird this analogy. Is, that exactly. Is, that's what I'm, this is what I bring to the table, Rob. Um, but I think the thing is, is that you're right. There are fights and stuff in football, and that passing thing was a couple of years ago. Liverpool, you know, tried it and looked really good with it. Everton had a fantastic season, and it looked like it was going <coughs> to kick on. Mm-hmm. And it never, because you do need to be a bit more pragmatic. At the thing times. is, though, right? You say that, but the teams that have are across Europe at the moment. Those teams that have the most position are the top teams. Yeah, I know, but they, PSG, are, the, they are also the top teams. Barcelona, yeah, so Bayern. Well, I mean, they're playing in a two-horse, three-horse three, 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 three. You've just three, named, three. exactly. There's that, but you've also just named three of the best and the teams thing, in the history. Yeah. Like, Everton, it, 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 my most expensively assembled teams. Roberto Martinez loves the Barcelona thing. He loves referring to it. If Everton had Messi, Suarez and Neymar, <laughs> I think they'd probably finish a little bit higher than where they are now yeah. as well. Oh, all right, Sam. So, so there you go. In, in other words, everyone just loves Bobby Brown shoes and that's why there's no pressure. That's the thing. He got rid of his brown shoes at the end of the first season. Give him them back. Yeah, that's what he's missing. <laughs> um, OK, just, <laughs> just quickly, I guess, a sentence from everyone each here. Um, I, I, Harry Fuller, KS. Liam, I'll start with you. What do your clubs need to do in the summer? What does Man United need Get to do? Get rid of the manager, first and foremost. Okay. Mm. Straight away. It doesn't matter if we finish top four, really. Just sack the manager. Top four and won the FA Cup? Still That's not a successful it. season. What? Come on. It's the. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, and listen, I was with you on, on second, Martinez. I was. I was with you. But you did I, say I, Gary Monk for I think. <laughs> Let's not go back to that. But uh, I, th- I said six months ago we no, should have gone. Should. I think our attractive style of football that we had before, I mean, I want to say before Moyes, but before, certainly before Van Hal, it just doesn't exist anymore. And you're not going to attract the players that we would have attracted beforehand if you have Van Hal in there. Okay. And I don't think we can go. We, we won't go any higher in the, in, the, in the league if Van Hal's manager next year. Okay, buddy. Virtually, Liam's just answered my Sack Van Hal. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, I think the time has come now. Time for a change. Uh, clear it out and start again. Really, because we, we, three for me, three years is long enough to get a, a vision of where you want to go and what you want to do. And at the end of the day, football is <coughs> a results business, isn't it? It's not a... It's not about playing well and not winning games, and, and we simply don't win enough games, so you need a change. Okay. Robbie, same answer for you? Uh, well, they're not going to sack Arsene Wenger. He's got one year no, left. What do, you, what do they need got to one do? Year, got what one do year. they need to do? Well, well, what would you like I'm, them to do, Rob? I'm going to look past. Yeah, what's all so much, Rob? Say sack them. <laughs> no, no, I'm going I'm to look past that, and I'm going to go for we need to invest in a world class striker. We need to invest in a couple of uh, world-class oh, midfielders and also a really, really good Premier League-ready um, defender. If we if we do those things, I think we can win the league next season. Do you not think we, you were kind we, of you know, that at the start of last year, though, Robbie? Before, which yeah. Last summer, and like I mentioned before, in the we, show we, 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 uh, we, we definitely needed to do that last summer. So whose fault is that? Surely that's the manager's fault? It is the manager's fault. So she'll sack the manager? <laughs> he's got a year left. Can I ask you this very quickly? He's got a year left. They're not going to sack him. Yeah. So if he stays for that year, he needs to do that this summer. Well, yeah. Have you to... got the faith that he can do that? No. No. Well, there you go. There you go. No, I don't. Because if I just go off the. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, it, what it is the problem I think at Arsenal is that the, I've been the on whole... BBC have you I've got loads to say <laughs> one sentence he said two sentences <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Sorry. if sorry. you want to know Robbie's full thought he's got an entire channel dedicated to this question I forgot his one line I forgot his one line sorry in regards to <laughs> Liverpool I think we've got we've yeah got sorry few, Paul what the, we've what got the a Liverpool team squad We've got a great manager, and I just think it's about getting play, giving him the tools to succeed, getting the players he wants. And how many players do you reckon you need? My mate, I I of this because I I Liverpool exists in like it's the ongoing story for us. So you always only think you're one or two players away from being being there. Whereas Klopp, his first season at Dortmund, had a massive clear out. There was like I don't know, it was like 14 players or something. Went. I don't think it'll be quite that bad. But also, he's been very clear. Like this is the beginning. Yeah. Forget the years they've gone by. I'm starting something new here. So similar, just you know, if he if he tells me that there's ten players who aren't good enough for Liverpool, bye bye. Thanks very much. Mm. We've enjoyed you, but enjoy the rest of your careers. For me personally, just at a very simple level, 
we need a 20 goal a season centre forward and if Daniel Sturridge isn't fit enough to do that then he gets bombed because I'm not having another season where we cross our fingers and talk about all the good things he does and all that because he's a terrific player but you can't you can't sit there like that play exactly praying that either the guys you've got are going to come good or the one you've got is going to stay fit Go out and buy someone who can do who can do. You the need job, essentially right? you need two or three of those level, don't you? Yeah. Store, you know, keep storage really and have another one. I to, I could go out and buy the twenty a twenty three year old centre forward who's ready to make that step. Like up. a Belgian six foot odd strong. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Ben Sacker. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you got one of those? Let's go for oh, yeah. all the Belgian <laughs> strikers you know, in Liverpool. The thing with him is the thing with him is what was a bit weird. That didn't <laughs> really work. Bobby let's do it again. That worked better. The, uh, that was like having mum high five. <laughs> <laughs> she goes. Rob, she'll just go on like that. We can't get that wrong. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't you just buy two wide men and actually cross the ball for Ben Secker? Because he's good in the air. Yeah, he doesn't do enough in the He's not going to play, though, is he? Like, no, 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 it's fine. I, I, what I mean is, pre season, you know. I, what Liverpool need to do is do what they do best. It's go and buy a 23 year old lad who's ready to make that, who's ready for that step up. Not for England, please, because everyone knows about these players already. You know, we did it with Torres, we did it with Suarez. Go and follow that mould. And whether it's like, I, I don't know, I always, everyone always throws these names out, but whether it's a Lacazette or it's a Getz or whatever, someone who's just. He's still got good years ahead of them, Gears but he's a raw. He's not no, a striker, no, no, but, he's, he's, but I mean, he's, he's a guy who will get you. You know, he's well, he's world class or borderline world class, and he scores goals and he yeah. makes goals. That's who we need. That's who the to go and get. So there you go. Uh, let us know your thoughts on those in, in the comments below. One final question, uh, and it was sent to us by da, 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 uh, at Max underscore the underscore. Copite, yes, I, I confused myself for literally no reason there whatsoever. Will City sign Suarez? I think, personally, Suarez has said he'd never play for another English team, but I also know that Luis Suarez will ultimately go and play wherever he feels he can be successful. Um, the, the, there is the Pep Guardiola uh, uh, connection to his agent, because Pep Guardiola mm. is Pep's brother and he is Suarez's agent. So that exists. He was rumoured to be linked with Bayern before he left for, for Barcelona and what have you. I think it, 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 it has all the hallmarks of there's so many boxes that you can tick along the way that it reads like a legitimate story. He's only story. been at Barcelona one year. I can't see gone. why. He's I not think, leave, by all accounts, Neymar's more likely to go, isn't he, of the Barcelona? Yeah, he's not leaving Messi well. last week. Messi's I think, I think besides, all that, besides all that, Suarez isn't soft. Like you said, he's going to go where he sees success. And I don't think, from a personal point of view, I don't think that uh, the new manager coming to the city will be as successful as everyone thinks he'll be. Considering what he... I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad manager. I don't mean like that at all. I just mean he's going to be in a completely different environment at city, where he's going to have... out of him week in, week out. Well, he didn't let. He wasn't like that on the not continent. Personally. Not personally. Not personally. Obviously, England, it wasn't like that on the continent with the other two teams and the other two teams he's been with, albeit arguably the two greatest club sides of all time. They, uh, they, they're playing in a two-three horse race. But he is going to have week in, week out. He is going to have access to some unlimited funds. Access to unlimited funds, but he needs a complete overhaul of of the team, in my opinion. Like Ture is out, they need another four defenders. Realistically, another four defenders. Company isn't going to stay fit, is he? Without company, they're nothing. And Suarez, I think he's not stupid. He'll go. Well, actually, I look at the team a minute, the minute of Barca. Am I going to go? Why? Go why would you want to leave Barcelona to come back to England? Why? Yeah, the, the, well, it's not partly there's money, of course, but also you know if you're excited by the pro, you're excited by the project, there are reasons for it. I, I think the thing, is, the year, the thing is though, from a city perspective. You buy Suarez, you can you could effectively buy the title if you bought Luis Suarez. He's that good, you know. He, he's a he's a twenty thirty. He's actually a thirty goal a season centre forward, which is a very very yeah. very rare, oh, rare yeah. commodity. I'm not saying they wouldn't um, want, of course. No, they and want also, you know, Liam's right. I think you know, look at the not not the entire spine because like Hart's fine, but company is you know. Yeah. Hit, he's touching goals. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Torre. He should have moved in the summer, to yeah, be fair. Gone years ago, yeah. And then you've got David Silver, who's the wrong side of 30 now, although still a fantastic player. And Aguero is still the right age. But again, as you, as you injury problems, how do you, what do you do to replace that lot of money? Mm. Luis Suarez could be the answer to See, that. So the thing, the thing you've got to remember as well, where I don't quite agree with you on Pep Guardiola, is that he also got the ability as a manager to make um, players that are better. And, you know, some of those defenders we're talking about at City are very expensive defenders, came with big reputations like Otamendi. Otamendi. And he's got the ability to maybe not get rid of a player like that, but to make that guy into what the yeah. sort of player that he should yeah, be. There's a lot of work so, involved for that, though, I think it, Otamendi. Yeah, but I, 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 I think Guardiola... Let's get sidetracked from the issue. 
Let's go back to the question. Will City sign no. Suarez? No, 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 no. No? No, no. no. I, I, that's a resounding no, sorry. Sorry, Max, unless that's the answer you're looking for. In this case, <laughs> congratulations. <probably. laughs> uh, right, there you go. Thanks very much. Send your questions in at Ball Street. Check out the rest of Social Club this week.